Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher, Editorial Director at Sweetwater, and I'm here today to introduce you to Avid's Pro Tools 10. Pro Tools 10 introduces a ton of new features. I've got an advanced copy here on my MacBook. Let's take a look. Now the screen looks very much the same, but there are a lot of new features, a lot of new functions in Pro Tools 10. First up, let's check out Clip Gain. Clip Gain lets us set the volume of an individual region within a track using either a fader or automation data. Another important new feature is how Pro Tools deals with audio files. First of all, it now supports 32-bit floating point audio files. This gives you a tremendous amount of headroom, a tremendous amount of resolution to work with. You don't have the limitations of having to be in a 16-bit or 24-bit uh, environment with 32-bit float, tons of headroom, and in fact that 32-bit float extends to the plugins, so we no longer have to dither as we go in and out of the plugins. This is a big deal as far as not clipping plugins and improving the sound quality the plugins can provide. Another change to file support is that Pro Tools sessions now allow you to load different file types all into the same session without converting them. So you can have different resolutions, 24-bit, 16-bit on the same track, on the same session. You can also have different types. You can have WAV files, AIFF files. This is a big change because if you're importing files, if you're importing a loop into a 24-bit session, the loop is 16-bit, you no longer have to convert it. If you're exchanging files with someone else, whether you're using WAV files, AIFF, whatever resolution, you'll be able to load them right into your session without converting them and storing them on your hard drive as a new file. The new version of Pro Tools also changes the way that it works with storage media. There's a new disk scheduler that can handle network attached storage. It can even handle very slow media such as USB thumb drives. There's also a new disk cache function in Pro Tools 10 HD. Now this allows you to load your entire session into RAM. So if you have a bunch of memory in your computer, you can load the session in and it's very, very fast as far as the way that it operates. And it's very intelligent in the way that it loads it in so you can play instantly. As soon as you load your session up, it starts streaming in the appropriate uh, audio information for wherever your cursor is within the session so you can play back right away. Once it's all into the disk cache, it's very, very fast because you're working with RAM, you're not working with a physical hard drive. Another big change is the way that Pro Tools 10 handles fades. They're now real-time fades, so you no longer have all those small fade files that are on the disk that are always getting lost. You know, I'm sure you've had the same experience I have, where you load up a session and the fade files are lost. It has to recreate them, rebuild them. Seems like that was always happening. That's no longer an issue with Pro Tools because it now works with real-time fades. In fact, you can change the fades as Pro Tools is playing back. This is a big change that makes sessions much more efficient. As far as plugins are concerned, we also have a big change. There's a new format, AAX which allows both DSP and native formats. Now Pro Tools still supports TDM, it still supports RTAS, but this new plugin format is going to, be taking, uh, going to be taking hold and advancing as we move forward. And In fact, it's already set up to support 64-bit plugins, so in the near future, as the plugin developers are moving towards 64-bit, AAX is all set for that to happen. I think it's going to be a very cool new plugin format for us to work with. Speaking of plugins, there are now three brand new plugins that come with Pro Tools 10. There's Delay Mod 3, there's Down Mix, and there's the brand new Channel Strip. Down mix takes you from surround mixes, whether you're 7.1, 5.1, down to stereo, or in fact you can also go from stereo down to mono. It's a very effective, very easy to use plugin. The big one for my personal use is the channel strip. Now the channel strip was developed based on the DSP that's in the uh, Euphonic System 5 console. It's a very nice channel strip, EQ, dynamics, really powerful. I think you're going to find you're just going to insert this on all your tracks and use it all the time because it's a great sounding plugin. Yukon Control has also been greatly enhanced in Pro Tools 10. With the Yukon controller, you can now access literally any command that's in a menu or that has a keyboard equivalent. So there are tons and tons of commands that you can assign to your controller. No matter what you're doing, you can have it on a button or a fader and take advantage of it right away in your workflow. Of course, there are tons and tons of other new features in Pro Tools. For example, you can now export tracks straight into a new session. So you can select the tracks you want, send them out right into the new session. Very powerful, for example, if you're working in the video world where you have multiple languages and you want to send a particular language into a new session to work on it. There's also global solo and mute indicators, so if you're, you have a large session, you have something soloed, you can't find where it is, very easy to see up there or to defeat it on and off uh, right from that master global control. In addition, you can now export to uh, iTunes, so you can send straight out of Pro Tools right into your iTunes library. You can also export directly to SoundCloud, so when you finish a session, you want to distribute it, you can send it right up to SoundCloud, very easy to do, it's a very cool feature. I wish we had time to talk about all the new features that are in Pro Tools 10 because there are so many. This is really a major update to the software. Lots of really cool stuff there. I've just got my hands on it recently and I can't wait to really dig in and learn all about all these new functions and features. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Avid's Pro Tools 10. There's so much more to talk about. Please give your sales engineer a call or visit Sweetwater.com for complete information. I'm Mitch Gallagher, Editorial Director at Sweetwater.